Good morning. This is Pom Petrov, and you're listening to episode number 25 of the morning show for managers. The topic for this morning is change, change support. I will give you three ideas on the things that you have to focus in order to support your team during change. I will start with an Indian saying from the native American native Indians, Sioux. The Sioux Indians say that even the best warrior cannot lift the smallest stone with one finger. Think about it. Even the best warrior cannot lift the smallest stone with one finger. Similarly, in teams, managers are the hinge and the supporting hand that must make sure that the team can lift every stone in the way. To to successfully go through change, managers need to provide support to their teams with at least three things. Number one, clarity of purpose. Number two, flexibility in plans. Number three, transparency in communication. We will see which one All all of these are important, of course, but which one is more important to practice on a daily basis? Clarity of purpose, flexibility in plans, or transparency in communication? The main concern of people when starting a change are related, the concerns are related to uncertainty. All these three things, the clarity of purpose, flexibility in plans, and transparency, Address this concern precisely by continually reminding the goals, showing flexibility in the plans according to the actual situation on the ground and full transparency about what's going on. These three actions reduce the feeling of insecurity and focus on things that can be controlled. Then when people feel insecure about change, their instincts will trigger doing the familiar but faster and with more dedication and this is a typical mistake a big mistake when people are not sure what to do they all of a sudden start doing what is similar to them but faster and with higher dedication and it's not going to get better just because doing faster and more of the things that were working in the old days In these moments of change, there is a need for the people in the teams to be comfortable with the discomfort, to begin gradual changes in their action. Even at the cost of inconvenience, without being tempted tempted to go back to the old ways of working. Going back to doing things the old way, but faster, harder and more dedicated, will only sabotage change. It will increase frustration. The typical mistake when communicating during a change is that managers only share when they have good news. This can create a vacuum of uncertainty and confusion when there is a lack of communication for a long time just because there is nothing to communicate. They are not good news and that's why we don't communicate. The truth is that psychological safety is created by creating predictability. And predictability is created through regularly, through regularity in communication every single day. Every single day. There are three essential things in real estate. Location, location, location. And there are three essential things in teamwork during a change. Communication, communication, and you guessed it right, communication. In the end of the episode, I will give you two questions for self-reflections so that you can think about how you can improve the way you support your teams during times of change. Question number one. On a scale of 1 to 10, how clear are the company goals for you personally? As a manager of your team, how clear on a scale of 1 to 10 are the company goals for you personally? And number 2, on a scale of 1 to 10, how clear are each team member's goals individually? So, do your people 
have clarity about of about what is expected of them during times of change this was episode number 25 have a good day and until next time